So, the last three solo cups of the season are coming up the next few days, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So, I thought I'd make another video about how you can qual to finals. Main things you have to watch out for this season. So, chapter 5 update and how to get your first earnings in the finals, how to play in the finals. So, first of all, what drop spot should you choose? So, if you want to play aggressive, definitely land for a medallion drop spot. If you're a confident fighter and you want to get a first uh, high kill round, definitely go for the medallion spots. Um, and choosing your drop spot really depends on how passive or aggressive you want to play. So, if you're a rather passive player, choose a drop spot on the outskirts of the map. Important is you get 7 plus chest and you get a lot of metal off spawn. Um, so, you can farm brick and wood on your rotation in mid game um, for your loadout what you should try to carry or what most people are carrying this season especially pros um, striker AR, hammer pump um, the grapple blade and two heals and if you have a medallion definitely carry med kits and big pots so you can get full and if you, uh, if you're not doing that then try to for opens rather carry shields instead of med kits because you don't need to win the game you want to get a high placement um, We'll come to finals in a sec, but that's where you would carry more med kits. So mid game, it's important if you're a rather passive player, if you're not con if you're not that confident, if you just want to qual through by a more placement, which is fine, which is possible, then try to stay on the outskirts in mid game. Try to get a good position. You can easily sit in a bush. And the only times you really want to take a fight is if you don't have enough loot. So if you want to get some better loot, upgrade rare weapons or find a grapple blade or if you get a good spray on someone or if you snipe someone then you can definitely push that but always watch out where you're fighting try not to fight in the middle of the map so you don't get third party that easily that's important as well um, what you can also go for during mid game is your cash if you don't have good loot if you still need metal then definitely go for your cash uh, this season it's not that contested because it only gives you blue loot so and you don't get slurp juices so you can go for that or if you find some random cash you can steal that one just to get some extra loot in case you need it if you don't need it if it's a, if it's in a bad position don't risk it this is only if you really need it and if it's in a decent position don't give up your full position just to get that blue cash that's important and then um forecast tower gives you three points in the solo cups so if there is one near you you can definitely try to go for that um especially for the finals it does give you an advantage because you see the next zones um, also what gives you even more points loot island 15 points for that um, you definitely don't need it to qual to finals but if you're a good fighter or you have a you're carrying a lot of med kits so you can like pl play zone and just sort of camp on loot island until um, zone pulls away and everyone rotates off and then you can claim it because you have med kits then you can go for it so either a good fighter or if you have heals to stay in zone yeah that's basically the things you want to um, watch out for and how you can easily qual to the finals just get a good drop spot get all your loot play mid game out safely if you don't want to fight and then if you get um, you can play about five games so if you get good end games in that you can qual pretty quickly on an a qual was 59 points last time um, and on eu 72 so you'll need probably around um, around 60 65 because it varies the season there's a lot of uh, the points have been different throughout the cups then for finals the medallion drop spots still good you you just it's way easier to win you get 50 free shield after someone beams you um so you can carry more med kits also you don't have to carry minis you can go for med kits and um, maybe big pots or just med kits floppers just for the heal off definitely carry more of that um Again, same loadout, grapple blade, hammer, pump, shotgun, and striker AR, and heals for a heal off, because most games you can win through a heal off, and very important, so that you make it to that heal off, is conserve your mats, have a lot of mats, definitely drop at a good spot to get all those mats, and try to find a spot that you can box up on, that you can reform your mats, so if you box on a uh, big brick or something, that's good just to reform, because uh, way more people win if they have mats at the end that's a big winning factor because then you can just keep tarping in and use your heals at the end if you don't have a lot of mats end game refreshes also work of course go for a refresh when you have a about two three hundred mats left that's when you still have enough mats to fight and you can probably get a refresh right there if you're confident um 
yeah, forecast towers. Um, you can again get those in mid game, like we already said. Really good because you see the next zones in end game gonna be way easier for you to rotate, and then use your storm, uh, use your med kits. Um, for using your med kits in a heal off, it's important that you don't take storm damage before because if the heal off takes quite long, then the person that gets storm sickness first will die. So try to avoid taking zone ticks in the earlier zones if it's not necessary. Um, because the game might take that long, and yeah, if you have a if you have the heal off, you can definitely don't need to play a too high layer. You could also play low ground. I wouldn't go for playing mid game in uh, in finals because there's always a lot going on, a lot of people around you. It's way easier to get picked off from someone, or someone sprays you and you don't even hear it because everyone's shooting. So play a, play a good isolated layer so you can just chill, try to survive as long as possible so you can use your uh, med kits end game and. If you're confident, if you maybe don't have any heal or something, try to play high ground. Um, try to get up, play a high layer. Um, yeah, you can use the grapple bay to get up or mantle up. But this season it's not really necessary because you, you can play for the heal off. And yeah, that's basically all you need to know for the next coming three, three solo cups. Um, if you have any questions, any more questions, just message me or comment down below. And I'll try to answer them as good as possible.